Hey everybody, SkyTrack 13 meteorologist Sean Ash here with a midday update, slow progress, uh, but you know what, I think we're, we're done with the real icy stuff. I'm not going to rule a few spots out uh, for some, uh, especially the overpasses, bridging the overpasses, but much, much better. Here's a look at the west split as we record here uh, shortly after 1 p.m. Uh, and uh, just a world of difference, you know, a few hours makes and a few degrees for that matter. This is a look on the south side there, 465 near Harding Street exit. Uh, so cloudy is going to be the rule of thumb. Here's our traffic map at this hour. Not nearly the widespread red that we had, which is stop uh, traffic, stop and go. Uh, and this is also available on our, our app, or if you download our news app, you can get the traffic feature there uh, to help plan out your morning. We did have a rollover accident on 70 eastbound west of Cloverdale, uh, and that's why you're seeing that red there in uh, Clay and uh, Putnam counties. All right, so clouds uh, went out today. We're going to be socked in. You can't really detect a lot of this mist on radar, so we look for visibility, which is a lot better now at about four to five miles. There's still some patchy fog and drizzle, and that's going to be in the forecast really the next 24 hours because we're not going to really change much in terms of drying out the air. 30 in the city, so we're still below freezing. Uh, they have dropped uh, the winter weather advisories, low 30s, Bloomington and Bedford and uh, Seymour. Um, I'm probably being a little more optimistic on the 36, 37, um, but I think we'll, we'll creep in there. We'll at least get into the mid-30s. Now, one thing here, once we get there, I don't think we're going to move much. So even overnight tonight, we're probably going to be in this 32 to 35 range, but maybe cold enough in a few locations early tomorrow morning where we do have some fog and drizzle that may create a few icy spots. I don't think it's going to be nearly the problem we had this morning. I don't think we're going to have a ton of precipitation, but it might be just enough to cause a few issues. So uh, you might want to get up early tomorrow morning, check in with Chuck and Mimi on the road conditions and see how this works out. Here's the Monday or the Wednesday planner, I should say. Um, uh, ignore that mix there, uh, but patchy drizzle around in the morning. We'll make it up to about 40 degrees for a daytime high. And then as we get into the middle part of the week, um, we're going to have a better chance of organized precipitation across the region. That's going to be Thursday night into Friday may cause some problems here uh, before we can get above the freezing mark. Thursday looks cloudy, looks cold. We'll be in the mid-30s. And even on Thursday, may have to look out for a little patchy precipitation. It's not going to take a whole lot uh, with this cold air that's in place right now. Friday into Saturday, definitely looking very wet and just uh, not very nice conditions. All right, we're going to go from 32 Friday morning to about a high of 42. That might be a struggle too. So those couple of days there just look really uh, wet. Uh, Sunday, probably the better of the two days here this weekend. All right, Angela Buckman and myself will be in here this afternoon. We'll give you another update here in just a little bit. Uh, be safe on the roadways. Again, the advisory has been canceled, uh, but some pockets, uh, certainly uh, a possibility of bridges, overpasses, especially as you travel farther north where it gets a little bit colder at the surface.